Moments ago, the curtain closed for the final time on Hamilton's run at the Orpheum Theater in San Francisco. And KPX 5's Katie Nielsen is live with how the cast and the fans are feeling about the finale tonight. Katie? Hey, good evening, guys. So as you can see behind me, the show just left out the final curtain for Hamilton. There was not a dry eye in the house. Everyone here so excited to see the production and also be a part of its final night. That final curtain going down maybe only about five, ten minutes ago. And it was really just a special night for the fans, the crew, and also the cast as they had a chance to say goodbye during their run in San Francisco. The cast took a final bow, the fans a final ovation, and not a dry eye in the house as Hamilton's run in San Francisco came to a bittersweet close. I'm going to miss these guys so much. It has been so exciting having it here in San Francisco. The feeling is mutual among the cast. You know, we've been very well received by San Francisco and to be now leaving after such a, I'd say, really successful run. It's kind of sad. Hamilton opened in San Francisco in March. Tickets were almost impossible to get, and every show has been sold out. It's a phenomenon that has changed the way people think about musical theater. So this has set a bar. It's not raising any bar. It's set its own precedent for everything. So it's completely changed the game. <laughs> Part of the popularity is due to the style. She saw it with Lynn oh Miranda. My oh my God. God. A musical with influences from hip hop. His plan would have the government assume state's debts. And a universal storyline. Even though it's talking about history and it's about historical figures, people can relate to it in a way that they can see themselves in it. But tonight, the production packs up and heads south to Los Angeles, where it opens Tuesday. I'm sad because I would come back. If I had the opportunity, I'd be back here in a heartbeat. There have been about 370,000 people who have been here at the Orpheum Theater to see Hamilton. That, to put that in perspective, that is actually about 5% of the entire Bay Area population. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see Hamilton here, don't have to wait very long. It's actually coming back to the Orpheum Theater at the start of 2019, but as of right now, no other details have been released. Back to you, Brian. Betty? Yeah, I'll, start, uh, I'll start saving now. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> and switching gears.